Alright, so a couple of days ago, I made this video of Nuvolet and Rothsley fishing during Sigawin's demo. After I uploaded it, I got this comment. But when you fish, you become ether. How did you fish as Nuvi and Ryo? In all honesty, that's actually a good question because when you go fishing in Genshin, you turn to the traveler instead of your active character. So I replied to them saying, I use the power of editing. However, they didn't believe me. Uh, it really is editing though. So that's what I decided. Today, I'm going to show you how I made Nouvellet and Riot sleep fish. I hope you guys enjoy this. We'll start with this one, the front view shot of Nouvellet and Rosli fishing. There are three major footage. So we have the subject footage, we have the props footage, and we have the background. And then I'll show you how I actually put these three footage together into one. One of the challenges is that I really wanted to match the video as close as possible to what they look like in the demo. Like first, the location, and the fact that they're sitting down in the grass. To do that, I asked my friend Fila to help me search for where in the map the demo takes place, and it takes place over here. It's actually like here, literally here. You can see, right, where they're sitting, and you see these mountains, right? The mountains and that, that little thing here, That's a, I think that's a hill trail house. And if you go to Genshin, like there's the hill trail house, these are the mountains. The issue about this place is number one. There are bishops everywhere, and number two, they're supposed to be fishing over here, but there's nowhere to sit. That's why I decided that the best way to get this shot is to use the green screen I made in my Serenity teapot. This is my green screen. So you got the branch. I put this, um, you know, landmass around. And then I put some chairs here. I, if, I don't know if you can see it. I kind of squished some chairs in that thing. All you have to do is just make them sit. There, that's practically the shot. I had Rotsi sitting beside Nouvellet. Now we have our footage, we're gonna open After Effects to edit the scene. I made a new composition first, and then I just dragged and dropped the footage. I used the key light effect to remove the green screen. I switched to screen matte so that I can actually see which pixels are getting affected. You, you just adjust, adjust. Yeah, something like that. I also masked this out with the pen tool. There we go. And then finally, uh, I do another clip and then I just make a track mat so that the colors are retained. After this, I just move the clip a little bit, um, just enough that the hands are not seen because I don't want to animate the hands. And there, that's it. That's the first step. Okay, props. So, the fishing rod. At first, I thought the best way to do this is to get Traveler's fishing rod. But the problem with Traveler is that his hands move too much while holding the rod. And if I use that clip on Nouvellet and Rotsley, it might look unnatural because they're just sitting down and not moving around. To fix this issue, I decided to look for someone else fishing. I was like, you know what? There has to be an NPC who fishes, right? And I was right. There's this NPC over here. And the best part is she's not moving her hands so much. So this looks more like the natural movement of someone holding a rod while sitting down. What I had to do was just make sure this whole um, rod was covered in blue. So next step, we bring the rod to After Effects. So here's my rod. There we go. And then we use the same effect key light. And then we key out the blue! Let me hide them first. And then again, we just, you know... Squeeze it out a bit, take out the noise. Then we can check the screen mat. Look at how nice this blue is. And then after that, we just mask it out using the pen tool. See, now we have a fishing rod. Let's bring back Nouvellet and Roxley, and then let's give them the fishing rod. Yeah, just rotate it a little bit. And then there we go, one rod for Nouvellet. Basically duplicate, we flip that, and then rotate it up. Bam. Give it to Roxley. So that's step two. Finally, let's go move on to step three because we already got Nouvellet, we got Roxley, we got our fishing rods. We just need the background. Remember that Sigawin's demo happens here? And our biggest issue was the fact that in the actual location where they're fishing, there are no crabs. So I had to look for another location where it looks like there's a little bit of water. There are some mountains and grass, and that, most importantly, there are crabs around to kill. Thankfully, we found this location, and the nice thing about this, number one, there are many crabs. Look at them, all chilling around here. Number two, there's water. Number three, there are mountains. 
So I looked for an area that I felt like I could put Nuvolet and Rotsli in and I found this rock and I'm like, you know what? There. They can fish here. And then, there we go. That That's the frame. That's basically the frame I did for this shot. After this, I just had to wait for Sigabin's banner to drop and then hope for the best. Full 30. See, I told you we're gonna do this quickly. Full 30. Oh! 27. Once I got sick of Ween, I asked my friend Fila to help pilot my account so that she can kill the crabs at the back while I film here at the rock. And that's what we did. Look at that. Look at Sigawin. After which, I went back to After Effects and I simply dragged and dropped the background footage below all the layers. And then, bam! That's it! That's the first scene! So we go on to the next step, Scene 2. How to make the back view angle of Nuvi and Rio fishing. It's similar to the first scene wherein I have a subject and then I have my props. But this time, I wanted to use the actual background that was in the demo. I went to this set and then I just had to position the camera. Basically, I just framed it like so. Add a bit of water. There we go. So this is kind of like the frame that I ended up with. I'll create a new composition again. I'll bring in Nouvellet and Roxley. Put in key light, green screen. And then sometimes what I do is I already use my pen tool to mask out some of the stuff here. Bam. Now we got our clean mat of Nouvellet and Rodsley. Next, we just throw in the background. So we have our background. Bam. And then we put Nouvellet and Rodsley around here. Somewhere around here. And then let's give the rods. Bam. Same process as a while ago. Just key light it. Blue screen. Going back to screen matte mode, take this water off, we mask it with pen tool. Bop, 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 bop. And then final result. And then we'll give one to Nouvellet and give one to Rothsley. So we put Rothsley and um, Nouvellet here, but then you can see the cut. It's obvious that they're not sitting on the grass. To fix that problem, what I had to do was actually film grass. <laughs> I went to this hill and then I wanted to film the grass against the blue sky because my plan is to key out the blue sky and leave behind the grass so that this will be the foreground layer. So there, that's, that's what I filmed. So we got my grass layer. We key out the blue sky. Bam! take off that cloud and then we put the grass over here see and we have this grass to hide the imperfections i just use the pen tool to kind of mask around mask around the area after that i just feather out the mask a little bit so that it kind of mixes with the grass at the bottom and then finally, I use color balance to lessen the yellowness of the grass because the grass at the bottom is a bit more cooler in color. And there! That's it! That's what the final clip looks like! Now that we have all our clips edited, the final part is to edit the conversation between Nuvi and Rio using voice lines! There are people on Instagram who actually ask me, like, are those real voice lines? And yes, they are. No AI voice going on here. The nice thing about Genshin is that they provide a lot of voice lines that you can use. I just had to figure out which voice lines work best. And the nice thing is not only do we have the character voice um, overs, all the quests um, voice lines are accessible in the travel log. I reviewed the voice lines of Nuvolet and Rothsley in all of their quests to figure out what to put together. Even the hooms and the uh and the stuff, I, dude, some of them are completely different dialogues. What did that look like in the end? I can actually show you an edit with just the voice. Ah, huh. it's past noon. Is that so? Hmm, want some tea? <clears throat> Thank you for the offer, but there is no dish that could ever compare to pure, unadulterated water. <laughs> okay, I get it. I usually take some milk with my coffee and two cubes of sugar with my tea. <laughs> How regrettable. It seems like you still have a long way to go in refining your tastes. <laughs> I guess that's fair. 
Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you enjoyed it behind the scenes. If you want to see more videos like this, um, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And then, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Alright, that's it. Bye!